Hey, we're down here in uh, Leaderville and the, uh, certainly working ourselves up for the, uh, the big event on Sunday afternoon. Upping along here, we've got uh, right on the corner of Vincent Street and Oxford Street, right outside Pinchos, and just a little bit on Pinchos as well. They are one of the main sponsors of the event and um, we'll have some great specials, but I'm actually here at the moment with our carryover champion, 2017 champion from the leadable super crit, Guy Kalmer. Mate, it's good to see you. It's great to be here at the front of Pinchos and they're actually just uh, cooking up some paella at the moment. Hopefully I can grab a bit for lunch. Look, it does <laughs> smell pretty good actually. Uh, yeah, I'm sure we'll be able to grab some of that afterwards, but look, just here to have a bit of a chat. Um, so uh, talk about the super crit. Uh, so you're, you're our, uh, our winner from 2017. That was a fantastic finish, and I'm sure everyone's seen the uh, the images of uh, of uh, you coming across the line there. So it was a great win. Uh, uh, young Lewis McRae was second to you that day. But um, you t tell us a little bit about the leadable crit. Tell us about last week, uh, last year's win as well, if you like. But yeah, what do you think about the circuit, and, and what do you like about um, you know, coming back down here uh, to race in leadable? Yeah, so the leadable crit, like especially because it's an old crit that we used they used to do a couple of years ago before, and they've brought it back. Um, it's great to have the, the old, older guys that have done it before. Some of them came back last year, and then even like just telling you about the crit and like the circuit difference from last year to then. Then, um, so this year, same circuit. Um, last year we noticed that you had to be at the front, otherwise you're out of the race. You, if you're not if you're not in the front five, you're, you're gone. You, you're done. You might as well be be on the side of the side of the road just chatting to your mum so I think that's that's the most important key factor of last year that, that helped me is I was attacking off the front and by the time I was getting caught again I was recovered already because you, you just knew that you were never going to get away until until you just broke that rubber band so I think that's the key factor for the, the, the other grades is you've just got to it's about going but not committing going and then just making them chase so they've got to accelerate more than you do out of a corner or something like that and then you can recover for it to go again straight yeah. away and then three or four times doing that they'll never catch you again and you'll be just like see you later nice. up the road and then um so that's what was fortunate enough last year i was up the road for the last couple of laps a few guys i saw them coming across so i just sat up for them jumped on the back coming into this final corner down here where this truck actually is um jumped them again and that that was the idea is if you come into this 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 left hander coming down the uh oxford street you, you, you can't lose from there basically, you just got to go straight to the corner and just head down, bum up and go. Yeah. We'll just talk a little bit about the course. So we're starting on the corner of, uh, uh, of Vincent Street up the top there, so it's straight up towards uh, Richmond uh, Street. Now hot dog, what we call a hot dog, so uh, turn back on yourself, fast uh, rolling down here, uh, down through Oxford and then a sharp left hander into uh, Newcastle. So um, yeah, the key obviously, get near the front as fast as you, or possibly uh, uh, sit near the front as much as you can yeah. and just stop that uh, effect of those, uh, or the, the rubber band yeah. effect obviously coming in and out of those corners. But what do you think's the right way to handle a hot dog type circuit as far as you know getting near the front or are you better off just chasing wheels? No, so you're better off being at the front because the, the straights here, the only straights you've sort of got is coming down Oxford Street and at the end of the day it's not that overly long and just might as well just be at the front present and then you're never going to have to deal with the accelerations and decelerations of people coming in you'll be able to take your own line through corners you'll be able to break yourself you'll be able to go as fast as you like and, um, and then you shouldn't be able to get mixed up with anything that might happen through the corners so just um, obviously we uh, we talk about yourself your fitness and um, who is going to be your number one pick for uh, seven, other than yourself, obviously? Um, but going in there with a few favourites, anyone uh, particular that stands out for you? Um, Michael Freeberg's always going well. I just don't know if the big diesel will be able to um, take it out of the corners quick enough. That'll be the question for him. Um, I, I unfortunately don't know many others that are racing, so it's um, it's going to be interesting. You're always going to have your Timmy Sellers, your Jackson Morbys, your Henry Pinnells that always mix it up and always have, have been riding extremely strong lately. So. Um, so I think it'll be a fairly open field and maybe even Brian Starring with the motorbike. Look, he's, uh, he's riding really well so at the he's, moment. He's, he's riding really well and the, and the dude can corner better than anyone. So we'll, we'll, uh, well, it didn't show it on the weekend when he crashed, but we'll, we'll leave it with that at the um, MotoGP. But anyway. We've actually got a special <laughs> guest as well. Um, oh, I do. Yeah, well, um, uh, Sebastian, uh, one of the riders, mm. one of the African riders mm. is actually going to be here as well. He's been over training with um, Steve Gallagher yeah. um, and uh, he's going to be here as well. He's uh, on his way or progressing through to riding the Commonwealth Games. Uh, with the African team, so he's going to be racing as well, which will be great to see. Yeah. 
Might have a bit of luck of the Irish on his side with Stephen, but um, <laughs> we'll see. It always throws a cat amongst the pigeons, and uh, we'll see how we go anyway. Yeah. Hey, look, thanks for your time. Really uh-huh. appreciate it. And, um, you know, as I said, we look forward to uh, seeing everyone down here on Sunday mm-hmm. afternoon. Come along. There's a uh, $5 price. Uh, uh, schooner special here at Pinchos as well so after your race uh, come down or if you want to come down and support grab yourself a beer and a uh, some tappers and uh, away we go yeah, thank you thank you